what's up guys? Um, 3.43 a.m. Um, so I'm up and I'm just having a bit of food now and a cup of coffee. At 4 o'clock I'm meeting a few guys from the club and we're heading up to Brecon for uh, the last decent efforts of this training block. I think it's only going to be around 20k in distance, but it's very, very hilly. What's up guys? So, up here in Brecon and we are 10k in, two and a quarter hours, so slightly slower than um, I planned, but we have stopped a couple of times and to be honest I just want to see how this feels on the day. Yeah, so between four and five hours is probably a really good shout for how, uh, how quick it's going to be. Um, the only concern I've got is these descents are so steep and they are a bit sore on the knee. Um, worked out a few good tactics of zigzagging down the, a few good tactics of zigzagging down the hills, which has really helped. Um, but these are the worst two descents of the day, so if I can get through these alright, then it should be fine. Yo yeah, what's up guys? So I think that's most of the mountains done for today. There's one more descent all the way down to the reservoir. So down here. For the most part it's been a wicked run. Um, I talked earlier about oh I might be slower than I thought, four and a half, even five hours, but looking at my watch already. I think we're only in about three and a half, so I might be spot on for four hours, which is perfect. And just saying to Al, you know, I feel great actually, um, energy-wise, muscles, I feel really good. I feel like barely started, which is good because as far as the race goes, I have barely started. Um, so coming down here now, I need to be careful not to go too fast and blow up my quads or anything or to hurt my knee or roll an ankle um, hopefully get down to the bottom and then that's checkpoint one get some food in me then we'll climb up there. Yeah, there that is the, bit, the steepest climb of the day not the biggest the steepest after that so there's two more decent sized hills after this, which not as bad as what I've done already, but they're still going to slow me down. Um, after those hills, there's a runnable section um, through Treville and then towards Brimba Park, which is where I've started my run from many times. So feeling really good. Definitely today I could have done um, then the next quarter I could have done I could have done 40k today I reckon but there's no point really um, the main thing was doing this section for my confidence um, which now is is really high um, and I'm looking forward to taper it actually which should be nice
Yo, what's up guys? So, it is Wednesday the 19th of June and it's what, two days, three days from the race now. Um, I pretty much did my last run yesterday. We did 8k, um, trailey, hilly. I went nice and slow, I was at the back the whole time, taking it easy. Uh, everything feels really good. Um, I've got to the point now where I've stopped being nervous and I'm just really excited about starting the race, so I can't wait for that. Um, weirdest thing just happened, so I was walking down the stairs and suddenly my left Achilles and kind of lower left calf just cramped like crazy. Um, sat down, walked down the stairs after a bit and I've come in and I've just put some ice on it and some deep heat. It's starting to feel better already but I swear like all these random injuries have just come in out of nowhere and lasting for an hour or so and then go in. Um, Yesterday, the day before yesterday, I had, what did I have? I had right knee pain, left hamstring, um, right ankle pain, um, all of which kind of went after a bit of time. Like I know I'm imagining all these things, but it's so crazy how um, like this paranoia of kind of racing and like what's wrong with me, like starting to feel ill, all sorts of things. But anyway, um, I'm just going to take uh, the next few days just to relax and really uh, get to the point where I'm feeling full of energy and kind of completely, my legs are completely loose. Um, so I can go into the race feeling great. Um, really excited. I'm going to post a link in this video to the tracker so if anyone's watching this, um, hopefully I'll post it before the race. Um, you guys want to track me, you can click the link and you can follow my dot all day long. Yo, what's up guys? I just wanted to add this little bit extra to the video and say thank you guys all so much for watching the video, for watching um, all the videos leading up to this point. I really appreciate everyone who's watched, who's commented, who's sent me messages on Instagram and Facebook wishing me good luck and talking about the race and things. I really appreciate it all. Um, so to report on the weird cramp thing I had two days ago, uh, that's all gone. Uh, leg feels fine. Uh, the only thing I've got now is an insane amount of nerves and I'm pretty much questioning all my life choices up to this point. I don't know how I ended up becoming someone who wanted to run 50 miles for fun. Um, I'm sure that'll all change tomorrow when I'm out there and I'll be loving every second of it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to post the link to the tracker below. Please have a look at that if you want to track, track me and follow along. Um, I'm really excited about it now. I'm going to be bringing the camera tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm going to use it. It'll just depend on how I'm feeling. Uh, with any luck, I'll make um, a video uh, giving me updates um, all the way through. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you out there.